guys welcome back to my channel i'm vanessa from crafty elvira and i'm back to making videos i'm sorry that i took a little break but i just needed a little break from social media and in today's video i'll be showing you how i make paper flowers using my cricut so i went to cricut design space and i searched paper flowers and i selected the one that you just saw and I'm going to um, measure my flowers into 5 inches in width just because I want them a little bit smaller. Right now I am putting my paper size which is a letter size and I'm going to put my little dial on cardstock and I'm going to use the blue mat which is light grip for paper and now my Cricut is going to cut my flowers. Okay, so now that that's done, this is how it's going to look. I flip my mat over, I take out the paper, I'm going to cut it and save my scraps. And I'm just going to pull the little flower. It's pretty cool. And I'm just going to do another color. I'm planning on doing orange and yellow. So again, it's just cutting my flowers. And so I went over to image and searched leaves and this is the one that I liked so I'm going to cut some on my Cricut and I'm going to select the letter size okay so again flip over your mat and then take off the leaves I messed up on one you can use this Cricut spatula, I don't know what it is, but um, it's pretty cool. I'm using my hot glue gun that I purchased from Sam's Club. And I'm using my Cricut too, these little tweezers. You always start at the very end. And I'm just going to pinch it and then, and then I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to rotate the tweezers. So you just make sure that you hold the paper, the little petals and just twist and just rotate the tweezers. Here's the close up. So you just go around and around and around. It's very fun actually. I actually enjoy doing paper flowers. It just takes a long time, but I really like it. And then when once you're at the end, you're gonna take off your tweezers and just let go of the flower so it can make so it can have its shape so again I'm going to curve the little end and I'm just going to rotate my tweezers and once you get comfortable you can actually do it with your hands without any tools and it's actually pretty faster in my opinion but you can do whichever method you'd like. So how are y'all guys? I haven't been here in a while. I've been taking a break and it was very much needed. I've been working on my crafting. Oh, and also I got into TikTok. So if you don't follow me, go ahead and follow me. It's Crafty Elvira. I have very fun. It's so addicting. Oh my gosh. I made like so many videos and you yeah, should definitely go check it out. So now I'm going to put hot glue Add the little circle and just adhere it to my flower. So you can just press on it and it should be good to go. I'm going to put glue on my green, on my leaves, and I'm just gonna place them wherever I think it's going to look cute. And then I'm going to do the little flowers, which is actually had a hard time figuring out how I wanted it. So it took me a little while and I finally got it. I decided to cut some of them so they can be smaller little flowers. So you'll see in just a minute how I did that. I'm trimming some, some petals away and I'm just going to make it skinnier just so it can be a smaller flower. So you don't be afraid to cut them. Just cut them and then hot glue them back. And there you go, There's, that's my little flower. So there's a the little tiny one. 
and there you go it's so pretty i love it so guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give it a like if you liked it and i'll be back with another crafty video peace